Frankly, while horoscopes have a funny way of sometimes seeming to come true, in this instance, I think you're jumping to some pretty untenable conclusions. But how would you explain it? Very easily. Even a girl as well organized as Crin has to have an off day sometime. And Josie, your mother's been wanting to spend time with you for a long time now. So planning a trip on your summer vacation actually seems more probable than improbable. And an old friend calling Principal Durst isn't actually cause for alarm. And what about my dad catching the fish? Well, if all the fishermen were equally skilled and equipped, your father had one in X chances of catching the tagged fish. H how many fishermen took part in the competition? About 500. OK, so your father had about one in 500 chances of winning the prize. Not exactly great odds, but not impossible, especially given the advantage of having one of your patented lures. But what about the javelin that nearly skewered Josie and Lucas? OK, OK, I can see how that would have shaken you up. But while it is certainly at the outer edge of the bell curve that a track and field champion like Stuart Kubiak would miss his target area by such a wide margin, it's much more likely a freak accident than proof that Marshall is psychic. Further, the chances of anything like that near miss happening to Josie and Lucas again are minuscule. And certainly not proof that any of you are marked for death. And I'm sorry, without further proof to the contrary, the facts simply do not support your hypothesis. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> so I just suggest you all take a deep breath, relax, and try to carry on about your day as you normally would. And remember to think like scientists. I guess we did overreact a bit. Sorry, Marshall. Wasn't inverted last night. Oh no. See, Sebra at the outer edge of the bell curve, which means. Are you okay? I guess. Uh, another freak accident? I think you all should see this. It's a bell curve. So? Look again, Lucas. It's a completely inverted bell curve. This is the one Z distributed yesterday in class. It was normal last night before I started writing my predictions. That inverted curve means the least likely events now have the greatest likelihood of happening. We should warn Vaughn. Wait, he said Stu almost took his head off with his shot put, remember? Just like that javelin nearly got you guys and I nearly fell. So since Marshall's predictions have started coming true, we've all had some kind of near-death experience. Except Marshall. <laughs> what, what, so you're saying I'm, I'm next? You mean because you, Vaughn, Lucas, and I have all had some kind of near-death experience the odds of any of us having another one are virtually inconceivable. Well, we've beaten the odds of this inverted bell curve universe we seem to be in. Only Marshall hasn't. What if I don't make it? I've run up and down those stairs a thousand times and never tripped once. Kubiak is a six-time gold medal winner, but somehow he lost control of that javelin. And you still don't think there's even a slightly higher probability that Marshall could be in danger? Especially if you add in one big variable called the black hole. Yes, I'd have to say that's possible. <laughs> what? Even you believe it? I'm afraid the pendulum of observable evidence has now swung in support of that hypothesis. This, this cannot be happening. I, I wrote a few stupid predictions and, and now I have to die? No, of course not. There are always variables that can change the outcome of an event, like having your friends to look out for you. However, need I point out to you that it was your careless handling of Durst's assignment that seems to be the trigger that set these events in motion. 
I was just looking for an easy solution. Now I'd give anything to have another chance to do that assignment. I guess there's no such thing as an easy solution. Yeah, I know. In the meantime, we should all get to science class. Marshall should be safe there until we can figure out how to turn the odds in his favor. If I could just get through this day, I will never put the band ahead of schoolwork, I promise. We're holding you to it. Now let's get you to the science room where it's at least safer. Mr. Wheeler, I think it's time you and I finished our little chat. Off we go now. While some of your predictions may have been surprisingly, even pleasantly accurate, <laughs> that still does not excuse your behavior. I mean, writing that a member of the science club will die? Is that a joke? No, of course not. It was just a mistake. You say mistake. I say carelessness. And what do you think? the punishment should be for that kind of carelessness. So, uh, let's be a little more careful with the discus, all right, Stu? Emphasis is on nearly principal Durst. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Ah, uh, could I please have my uh, discus back, principal Durst? Guess what? Durst and I were nearly killed. That's fantastic. Sweet. Awesome. Durst all right? Oh, yeah. Otherwise, not a scratch. That's great, Marshall. Congratulations on beating the odds. <sighs> you guys should have seen it. Go whoosh! The discus took out the fan motor. Marshall isn't Z a member of the science club? Technically, yes. Z's, Z's a member, member of the science club. club. Professor Z, get out of the way! Oh, I will have a good ride. Thank you, Marshall. He can't hear us. Professor Z, Professor look Z, out! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Marshall. Promise me you will never, ever write another prediction as long as you live. Done. Good. Thank you for saving my life. Now get off me! Having a better day today, Corinne. Yes. Here's a prediction. You will spend the rest of the month making it up to your friends for Nearly killing them. It's very funny, Lucas. But um, I want you guys to know that it, as important as the band is to me, from now on I'm putting school assignments first. So what happens with your community service? Oh, I still have to do it, but I volunteered to tutor students in science rather than wait around for something to be forced on me. Mr. Wheeler, that trash will not collect itself. Looks like Durst had some of her own ideas for your community service. Yep. <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> Marshall Wheeler, dabbling in predictions of the future. Bad idea. People shouldn't know too much about where they're headed. <laughs> <laughs>